welcome back. We're back in Timberborn in our Easy Beavers colony. And today we've got a couple of new items to get out and get ready to go. I think we're going to be stepping into a nuclear age because last time we picked up our nice mine here. And on the side, we tossed a nuclear waste mining expedition, which has been bringing us nuclear waste. Hopefully, we can refine that. In fact, that's the first thing we're going to pick up today. We're going to get this in the centrifuge. And I'm going to put you right there. And then it looks like we need just a couple of items to get us down there. Let's go power. We'll grab this, that is the perfect height. And we'll do a three-way connector, there we go. Let's pause that until we get the other things in. The other thing is, this is way up in the air here. However, we've already got a path up here, so all we really have to do is put in some stairs right here. Let's grab the metal stairs, since why not? Let's see, we want you about right there. And then the entrance is right there. That's all we gotta do. Now this place, I believe, takes nuclear waste and... What's the other thing it takes? Gears. Well, there's a lot of gears down here, so I'm not gonna worry too much about getting gear storage in. We could do... Uh... The pollution resistance factor in water, though, because we have a decent amount of that. So let's get some storage for those just right in here. The water will just go directly here. There's our storage. There it is. Tanks. Let's get a medium tank. We can put that right on top and set it up for the water that we're going to need. And then the pollution resistance factor. Let's see... We could probably do a larger one of those up here as well. Let's see if we can get a platform there. We're going to do walkways here. Will it let us do walkways? I don't know why it wouldn't, but you never know. Where? There's our walkway. Well, it doesn't want to let us do the walkways over the back for some reason. I know it works. There's no reason it shouldn't. There we go. You just have to get it in just the perfect spot. There we go. We've got it. Now we just need a warehouse, which... Can we use a warehouse? Because the where entrance to the warehouse is right there, which means they can't get to it. Well, that's a bit disappointing. But we can do this. Let's do a... Not a pit warehouse. How about a long warehouse? We'll do a long warehouse here. And then can we do maybe a crappy warehouse there? Yeah, that fits. I don't know. They're, they're probably pretty close in size for savings. So as long as we put these in here, let's put those in there. We'll say these are both obtains. Same thing here. We've got an obtain. And then we'll keep an eye on this to see if... This itself runs fast enough with the amount of nuclear material we're pulling in, or if we need to change some stuff around. We're getting to the point where we have quite a lack of beavers, so we're going to go ahead and continue on on our tower as well. Let's put these two in here. There we go. They can probably build those from either the bottom or close to there. And then we can put in a couple more here. Let's face those out, of course. Here we go, right in there. And as for what we want to put up here, let's get some more platforms. Let's do our overhang walkways here. There we go, one, two, one, two. And then we'll do these here. There we go. And then I want to get frog statues, because I don't think we have a lot of these yet. So... They can come up here to look at the nice frog statue. 
over here, I'd like to do a little bit of crop balancing. As you can see, we have a ton of the peas that aren't getting picked right now. Uh, however, we're not doing perfectly on cabbages. We're not doing bad, but we could be doing better. So what I'm going to do is we're going to clear the planting area till about right there. And we'll switch that over to cabbages just as soon as we can. Our pine forest has finally grown in here and it's starting to work. It's helping us catch up. It's probably going to take a little bit. Uh, we were pretty far behind on pine and everything that pine sap can make. But a good suggestion that came in from a couple of commenters last time was to get more trees in here. We could simply do some platforms around the edge. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to start with just some regular platforms here. And I'm actually going to come this way. And we'll probably end up changing this out for a ladder eventually. But we've got plenty of metal. Let's go ahead and put in one of these. There we go. And we'll grab this. We'll put this here. We'll come right around the edge. There we go. This all looks good. Let's get in some more of these. All looks good. We'll come back here in a second and put in those second layer ones. There we go. Now we just need a way over to this. Hmm. Could we... Let's see if it'll let us build some ladders here directly across from that. Yep, it sure will. There we go. Is that the same height? That looks like the same height to me. However, we're probably going to need one of these at least. Well, we can't put that in there. Can we put one of these? Nope. What about one of you? Nope. Uh, hmm. We might have to take this tree down temporarily and work on building a bridge there let's see actually let's just say let's take that out and then we can put a longer bridge in here and we won't have to take out trees in the middle hopefully they should be able to reach everything there it kind of looks like they should be able to then over here once they've got the bridge that way we'll put a bridge here and go straight down here and probably straight down here so that they can just get into all of this area here. On the other side, we could probably do the same thing. So let's grab some more platforms here. Now, I'm going to leave in this little bit of path right there because it kind of goes around some of the stuff that we need. Although I could just come straight across here. Uh, would that be basically the same? It does kind of look like it would be the same. So we might end up putting in another set of ladders right here, but we'll come back to that. Let's get in our platforms here. There we go. Actually, there's a special platform just for this, isn't there? There we go. Around the corner. Around the corner. Same thing here. We'll do around the corner. The regular platforms, we can get in right. Oh, we can't do an around the corner one there. But we'll go here, and then we can get a ladder to attach in there. Let's get the double space in here. There we go. And this one here can be one of the ones that just goes around the corner like that. We can move our road onto all of this. There we go. I'll go back to the other side over there and connect that in here in just a second. There we go. Let's see. So here we could do around the corner one. Let's do that. If it wants to face the right way. Sometimes that's the hardest part of getting those in there. There we go. This one, same thing. We'll do one that goes around the corner. Here as well. There we go. This one's going to have to have one of these platforms on there. This one, however, doesn't. It can just do this right here. There we go. 
and it looks like they've got some of this road in already. So let's come around here. We'll get the road in. They're working pretty quick. So we'll attach all this. There we go. They've got a couple of those in already. That was awful fast. We're just going to do roads here. And that can all go out of there. There we go. In fact, if we can just get the ladder in here, so you guys will have to find your way back down. Let's do this. We'll get our ladder in here and say, you are super important. So they get that in there. And that should at least allow us to take out this much road right here. Uh, well, I guess we can't take this out until they finish the rest of this here. But we can get a couple more trees in here. And we won't need this one. Uh, oh, I do need this, this, and... I don't know that we'll need that any roads beyond there. So let's go ahead and take those out while we're here. There we go. This can all go away. And we will build those ladders in in just a bit. Over here, they have made our path around the outside, and it is looking pretty nice. So we can go ahead, get rid of this road in here. There we go. Let's get rid of all of this. And all of this headed up here. And until we connect that in, we'll leave the rest of the road. Oh, missed a piece. But we can grab these pines, fill in more space here. There we go. So even if we lose a couple of trees, overall, I think we're definitely going to gain a couple. Oh, this needs to be connected in still. In fact, we need a double-sized platform here. There we go. And then we need to figure out our bridges. Now, if I had a way... Can I... No, I can't attach that. So we're going to have to just use the four size bridges because anything else requires uh, extra support. But it looks like that just happens to be the perfect size. So we've got that taken care of. This over here, let's go ahead and get in. You know what? We have a bridge over here that lines up. So... Let's see, will the four long bridge work here? Or is it just out of range? It's just out of range. Oh, we could do a platform though, couldn't we? Let's see if we can do a platform there. There we go. And then we've got a four high bridge right there. Let's grab a road. And that should do just fine. I guess we didn't need all of that in there, but that's okay. We just have a little extra space if we need it. So let's go ahead and take out this. We can take out a little bit of this path right here, because nobody should be using that at the moment. There we go. Oops, I let go of shift too soon. Let's do that. Then here... Let's actually pause this farmhouse for a second and send them all somewhere else. And then we can take out these stairs and put in a ladder. Come on, guys. Okay, that guy's going his own nice slow path. You, get out of there. Shoo. There you go. Let's drop in that ladder here. And we'll say this one is super important as well. Now we can go back in, get a couple more trees. That looks good. And then they can build that. In fact, it looks like they're done with building that. So now they just need this, and then we're connected back in. And we can get back up here and start dynamiting this mountain again if we need to. They've got our bridge in, so we can go ahead and continue on taking out some of these roads here. There we go. That can all go. And let's get out the roads here. And that one can go. Now we just need to put in a couple of places here so that we can just more or less drop down from above to go to these places. Also, while we're here, let's put in 
a newer building was put in. This forestry upgrade viewing area. There we go. Doesn't have haulers, but it does give a buff. So we're going to do that. Let's grab these here. And I don't want to block the door. So let's go this way. And you know what? It might be worth just keeping that extra one there. It's not going to really hurt that much. So we're going to do that. And I want a ladder there. Maybe I can grab the ladder. There we go. And now we just need a bridge over to that. Is that three? It looks like three. There we go. Don't need this anymore. And there we go. We're finally getting some of our nuclear material ready to go. In fact, we've got five already. However, I didn't put in a place to actually store it. So we're just going to store it right on top here. Let's do a pit warehouse here. And we'll set that up for the actual nuclear fuel. And then on the other side, we'll do a long warehouse right here. Grab one of these. That can go in there. And in here, we'll put the waste so that they can have everything they need for this right here. Well, I forgot something important. These now need a ladder up to them. So we're going to have to disconnect this one anyway. It's not that big a deal. It's just a couple of extra ladders and we can use uh, something to use the metal anyway. So let's just put you in here. We'll do another bridge, but we'll do it facing this way since the last one went the other way. Uh, and that lets you into there. Do you need a path? Nope, that should do it. We just need them to get that built and then... Eventually, we'll put a tree between the two buildings, but for now, I'm not that worried about it. It looks like we've got access again, yep, to up here, so we can go back to blowing this up, which is wonderful. We've got a decent amount of dynamite. We can definitely get at least part of this started. There we go. We've got that, and we'll do this and this. Um, Do I want to do that last one? We'll wait on this one here. There we go. Now that we have some nuclear fuel, I am excited to get the next step here, which is these mega platforms. We could do a hot nuclear press, and we might yet do that over here, but I do want these mega platforms first because they're gonna go right on top of these. In fact, I might have to do a little moving around as I put the trees in there. However, as you can see, the tree is slightly taller than everything else. So we might take that out for just a bit and redo that with another farm and then put trees on top and then maybe some farms after that. But we're going to have to have a lot of mega platforms built for that. But I'm happy to finally be able to get those in there and start building our farms upwards. I found a small problem in the chain. Our glowing fluid production is slowing down, and they're not getting bad water or insect larvas like they need. Now the bad water, we just did something about, so we definitely have enough for that. We can fix that. The insect larvas also look like we're getting enough. So it comes down to just probably not getting enough over here, which is pretty easy to take care of. What we'll do is we'll put those two in. We'll say they're of pretty high importance and we'll put a tank in here for bad water so these guys don't have to walk so far to get it. And then in between the two, which should be right here, we will put in storage for a tiny long warehouse because we'll flip the other one around so the door is facing the other way. And we will do insect larvas obtain and that should solve some of the problems here with that, or at least help us cut this dynamite in. So let's go ahead and start leveling this mountain out. There we go. That worked out pretty well. 
I don't think they'll be able to get that way all on their own. So we're going to have to take a path at least down this side. And we'll just do that way. We'll tell them, go ahead and do this. Hopefully they get in some of the other stuff first, though. Looks like they managed to get all of this in for us. So let's go ahead and take out this road down here. There we go. And now we can add even more pine trees or pine sap. And then while we're here, I'm going to go ahead and take out this. And it's still connected, so we're still good there. We'll go up a couple more, which... Is that going to get us aligned with that one? No, nope, that actually looks like we need one more here, which we will probably need a platform to build there. Let's get that taken care of. There we go. They can build up that way. And we'll grab a couple more bridges. Uh, how about two threes? Will that make it across there really nice? Maybe we can get it in the right spot. There we go. Now they should be all connected in there. And everything should be good to go on that side. Oh, look at that. They've got the dynamite in. Let's take that out too while we're here. We'll detonate all of this. There we go. All that's gone. Let's get all of this out of here. Yep. And we'll do dynamite here. They might not be able to reach the end. But we can always put a path over there to take care of that later. I don't think our Firefly station is going to keep up the way it is. So we're going to have to put in another one, which we can drop right up here. In fact, let's just switch that around. There we go. And if we put in a road right there, they should... Nope, they can't connect in because we have put... We've put that in the wrong way. Well, we can still fix it. We most definitely still can fix it. Let's just put a ladder right here. We'll say that ladder, very high priority. And that will connect them in here. And if we need storage for more stuff, we can put it here and here and now. So that gives us a couple options. We can get this all built up, ready to go, and maybe we can bring in some more of the glowing fluid that we need because a lot of our buildings are starting to require it. And there we go. We've taken off that layer of the mountain. We'll continue on next time, taking out more layers there. We've got our bridges in connecting everything here, plus the outer platforms, which I gotta say look pretty nice. So... That turned out surprisingly well. Good call on that, everyone. Then we've also got our centrifuge in, which has provided us with some nuclear fuel. Got a good start on that. And we've got some mega platforms above here. We might have to trade out this Everblossom farm next time because it's slightly taller, but we'll figure that out. Plus, we've got a new Firefly place in which hopefully gets us some more glowing fluid because that's starting to be used pretty much everywhere in the colony. And then finally, I got to figure out where these treated planks are being made. I'll figure it out eventually if they're even still in the game. I'm guessing they are somewhere. Uh, if not, they might want to change this. We'll, we'll take a look. But that's going to be it for this time. As always, just wanted to say... Thank you very much for stopping by. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and hope to see you next time.